Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so, yes, cigarette advertising still exists today. But I will admit, only in a very limited fashion. A lot of articles would like you to believe that cigarette marketing, that cigarette advertising is essentially dead. And it makes sense. TV, radio, and billboard advertisements are all banned federally for, well, tobacco companies to advertise in. They, they can't use any of those avenues of advertisement to advertise their product anymore. It's, it's completely banned and has been banned for years and years. But there are still many avenues that tobacco companies can use to, well, advertise their products. So as such today, I'm gonna be covering those avenues in today's video. I'll be talking about two main things in today's video though. First off, I'm gonna be talking about where modern cigarette ads can still be found. And then after that, I'm gonna be showing off some real life examples of modern cigarette ads that I own myself. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and introduce you guys to the cigarette I'm gonna be smoking today. I'm gonna be smoking a little bit of a 24 seven red full flavored cigarette. I've got the pack around the wrong way, but now that I have it around the right way, I'm gonna go ahead and get it all opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these cigarettes out. And then after that, I, I do suppose I should probably go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket. And now without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cigarette right here, all it up and go ahead and start talking about, well, the avenues that tobacco companies can still use to advertise their cigarettes. Without further do though let's go ahead and get this all up yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying <sighs> so as said while well, yes tv radio and billboard advertisements are banned and actively marketing to non-smokers is not really prevalent anymore these days unlike in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, where advertising to non-smokers was extremely prevalent. But marketing to smokers is still very, very, very prevalent. If you can convince somebody to try a new cigarette, to try a new brand, worst case scenario, you're gonna, get, you're, you're gonna gain a sale. But best case scenario, you're gonna gain a new customer. So as such, in-store advertisements, such as the behind-the-counter banners, stickers on the windows, windows, and discounted packs are extremely important to tobacco companies, and they are completely legal, but of course are quite regulated. According to a certain anti-smoking campaign, the top tobacco companies spent 96% of their 8.49 billion, oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, they spent 96% of their $8.49 billion cigarette marketing budget on point of sale advertisements on point of sale marketing sorry not just on advertisements but also things like discounts and product displays behind checkout counters 96 percent that's insane that is huge and i've literally met a uh, I, i've literally met a guy who worked for a tobacco company and his entire job was to go around to all of the locations which sold their products and make sure all of their advertising was in order. All of their advertising, all of their in-store advertising was in order, up to par, up to regulation, everything like that kind of thing. It was literally, that was, that was his only job kind of thing. All he had to do was go to each and every single store and just make sure that everything is up to par and sometimes deliver cigarettes as well and everything like that kind of thing. If one store is running low or something like that kind of thing. But I just found that so interesting. I was like, it's your entire job to just go around and make sure that the regulation is being abided by and everything like that kind of thing. I was like, that's really, really, really interesting. And it's something I, I, I that's a job I didn't really think about before meeting him. It really was really eye-opening, I definitely have to say. But of course, that's not the only way that tobacco companies can advertise themselves. Tobacco companies are also allowed to market themselves online and on social media, although there are a lot of restrictions to that. Uh, for example, if you're going to market a tobacco company or a nicotine company in general on, on Instagram, let's say, you need to make sure your Instagram is 21 and up. Of course, people can lie and still view your Instagram and everything like that kind of thing, but you need to have it in place where only people who have their age set as 21 and up can view your Instagram. That's the regulation that the FDA has in place, and that's what that that's what people gotta abide by, you know what I'm saying? But of course, there are more advertising methods than just that as well. If you consider pack designs advertising as well, which of course I do, 
then that is, of course, 100% legal with minor regulation. Uh, the only regulation that there is on pack designs currently is the Surgeon General warning. But of course, the government is currently looking at introducing graphic warnings on cigarette packs as well. But that's they're, they're getting sued over that and everything like that kind of thing. So who knows if or when that will actually be implemented. But there is one advertising, what's the right way of putting this? There's one advertising avenue that you might think would be illegal as it kind of goes in line with TV, radio, and billboard advertisements. But it's completely legal, but of course, with some regulation. And that avenue is magazine advertisements. That right, that's right. Magazine advertisements are completely legal. Cigarette companies can, can just advertise in magazines. It's, magazine advertisements are completely legal for cigarette companies to advertise in, which is something, honestly, I did not realize until I saw one myself. I saw a cigarette advertisement in a magazine. And I was like, wait a minute, this is legal? They can do that? A lot of articles out there don't even mention magazine advertising. And the ones that do make it seem like it's super heavily regulated to the point where they essentially can't do it. But the truth of the matter is that cigarette companies can indeed advertise in magazines, which is something, honestly, I said, I did not realize until I actually saw one for the first time myself. However, if cigarette companies, if tobacco companies in general want to advertise in a magazine, all ads must be black text on a white background only, except in adult only facilities and in magazines with, le with less than 15% or fewer than 2 million youth readers. Makes sense, makes sense. This regulation makes marketing and advertising, it makes marketing in magazines more difficult as I doubt ads like this are particularly effective, which I'm sure is the intention. Along with that, the majority of popular brand name magazines are either going to target a youth audience, and even if they don't, they will probably have a large youth or teenage audience anyway. Flipping the page once again. And on a side note, Camel actually got into some controversy in the early 2000s due to them placing uh, cigarette ads in magazines such as Rolling Stone and Time Magazine. Uh, but from what I can tell, they never got sued. Although I'm not 100% sure on that, but I figured that was worth mentioning anyway, as it's probably the only like uh, real like sort of controversy I've seen around cigarette companies placing an advertisement in magazines. And the only reason there was any controversy is because the youth readership for those magazines is higher than you might think that is for sure at least it was at the time back in 2007 when they uh, were advertising in rolling stone and time and stuff like that i doubt it's that way these days if i had to guess however what if the magazines don't have a youth readership or at least not 15 percent this would mean that cigarette companies could run full color full photo advertisements with the only restriction being the Surgeon General warning that they're required to put on every ad anyway. I got my modern cigarette advertisements from one such magazine. And the magazine itself, in my personal opinion at least, is a great option for cigarette ads. This is because the magazine itself is about a product that you cannot buy until you're over the age of 18. It's essentially a tobacco company's dream, I imagine as I can't see them losing a lawsuit over placing an advertisement in a magazine such as this one that I have on me today, but I haven't showed it to y'all yet. Although it is notable to mention that you can indeed still sign up for the magazine when you're under the age of 18, but I seriously doubt that they have a lot of under 18 readers, I will admit. So, what kind of magazines do I have on me today? It's not an alcohol magazine, it's not a cigar magazine. I'm sure there are cigar magazines. I've never, I've never bought one though. But I imagine there are a lot of cigarette ads and cigar ads in those as well, in, in alcohol magazines and in, in, in cigar magazines. Literally, the whole magazine is a cigar advertisement kind of thing. What I have on me right now is a gun magazine. That's right, a gun magazine. Or to be specific, two of them. One of the magazines I have on me today contains a Winston ad. The other one contains a Grizzly ad. And without further ado, I'm just going to go and take one or two more hits of my cigarette. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys the magazines I have on me today and go ahead and show you guys the advertisements as well. I'm tempted to go ahead and finish off my cigarette, though. 
I might just go ahead and do that real quick, honestly. I'm just gonna go ahead and stub this cigarette out and just go ahead and put it on the park bench I'm sitting at currently. So I make sure that I don't forget to throw it away after this video or anything like that. But as said, the magazines I have on me today are gun magazines. In specific, it's American Rifleman. And I've, I've taken off my address and everything like that. I ain't doxing myself, that is for sure. But flipping over to the page that contains the advertisement, we can see the first magazine has a Grizzly ad on it. It just says, Unlike your hunting stories, this stacks up. So they're really going for like the hunting crowd and everything like that kind of thing, which makes sense. It's a gun magazine after all. And then it just says Grizzly, uh, the Grizzly camo can 10 stack, uh, 10 limited edition camo can designs uh, at a special price you have to see, uh, head to whatever. And uh, so you can find the camo can whatever and, and all that sort of stuff. And then there's a, uh, there's, a, there's a Surgeon General warning right here and everything like that kind of thing. All of the necessary regulation is in place, but in this magazine right here, if I can flip over to the front of it, in this magazine right here, in this gun magazine, there is indeed a tobacco advertisement. And my piece of paper is currently trying to run away. I'm just gonna go and pick that up and go ahead and put my magazine, which is a little bit heavier than my piece of paper, on top of it so it doesn't blow away. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the Winston ad. The Winston ad is also in another American Rifleman magazine. We can see there's a a, a pretty a pretty sweet uh, CSX on, on the cover. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty nice if I do say so myself. And there's a there's some pretty cool articles in this magazine. I, I've read it myself. It's pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. But the most notable thing for me as a cigarette marketing enthusiast, I do suppose, was this advertisement right here. It's a Winston advertisement. It just says nothing but tobacco and water in our tobacco ingredients. And then there's a little bit of an asterisk right here. And then the, we can see the asterisk just says, these, these cigarettes do not present a reduced risk of harm compared to other cigarettes. And then it just says, only the best of both gives you superior taste. So yeah, that's the advertising. We can see there's a Winston red right here, a Winston gold and a Winston uh, white or silver right there and everything like that kind of thing. But yeah, there are indeed still cigarette ads in magazines as long as they don't have a over 15% youth readership, which I do find pretty, pretty, pretty amusing. I ain't gonna lie. And it's something I said I did not realize existed until I actually, well, saw a cigarette advertisement in this magazine right here. Just flipping through, we can see there's a silencer on the back. Oof, that silencer's looking pretty damn good. I ain't gonna lie. And there's a, there's a gun I really like in this magazine as well. Where is it? Where is it? It was somewhere over here. The CSX is nice, I will admit, but what was it? There is there's some there's some magazine they've got they've got like a in every magazine there's like a thing at the end of it that is like oh here's like an old retro gun or something like that kind of thing I'm trying to find that might just have to give up here we go Colt police pistol yeah that's a that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty badass gun I ain't gonna lie that's a pretty badass gun but that's pretty much all I had to say in today's video that's pretty much all I had to say in today's video I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, flip the cover back around you know what I'm saying and now I'm gonna go and end off the video right here so yes. Cigarette advertising does still exist in today's world. It's not as regulated as a lot of articles would like you to believe. It's still very regulated, don't get me wrong, but there's still a lot of avenues that, well, cigarette companies can use to advertise their product. A lot of articles that I said at the beginning of this video would like you to believe that there's no avenues left for tobacco companies, that there is no more really advertising. It's just not advertising on TV or radio or billboards. It's just not up in your face advertising. It's advertising in magazines that are subscription only. It's advertising in magazines that don't have a youth readership. It's advertising behind the counter. It's discount packs. It's the packs themselves. That's what the advertising is these days. There's still lots of avenues for advertising. It's just different from a lot of other products. And that's really where the misconception comes in, I do suppose. But I think that's just about all I had to say in today's video. So as such, I'm gonna go and end off this video right here. Thank you very much for watching my video where I talk about the, where I talk about cigarette advertising still existing today and everything like that kind of thing. I kind of wanted to make this video just because honestly, yeah, no, I said a lot of articles just kind of try to make you believe that cigarette advertising doesn't exist today. So I wanted to make a video 
talking about why and how cigarette advertising still exists today. And I said the why is to focus on the demographic that they want to focus on, which is, well, smokers. And the how is, well, a very regulated uh, sort of a, a very regulated uh, mix of uh, behind the counter advertisements, the packs themselves and magazine articles, along with some social media, depending on uh, what company it is. Uh, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. I certainly uh, have enjoyed making this video. That is for sure. It's a lot of fun to make. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, uh, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. It's the next one. Stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?